Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two, and I have your balls. Oh, no. What will he do with them? You will never know. And welcome back to- I know, to... you're about to find out right now. <clears throat> I cast testicular torsion and compression. Oh! Welcome back to Persona. Last time, we beat the main route. And now, we begin the secondary route. Which is shorter and harder. If you will see, uh, we, we, we went into this file last episode, but actually, no, it's not the same one. Because the Reggie we saw was level 12. This Reggie is level 31. Ow. I was in the hospital. Was that? Is that 30 hours? Is that 30 hours playtime? Oh. I was in the hospital on speed up mode going new, 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 until I was level 31. You will see why in a little bit. Uh, so first, if you remember, this is when we rescued Maki's mom and we went through the hole to go fight Sebek. But we don't want to do that this time. And in order to get to the whole next route, we have to go through a bunch of convoluted bullshit steps. I don't know how you would figure this out. So first, go to- and Kiss your mother goodnight. That is also a good step, but we go to the second floor. We go to room two, four. Quit moonwalking. Hee <laughs> hee. We talk to the person here. Smash. Brother, calm down for one millisecond. We just walked in the room. <laughs> Devil Boy says this town got all weird because of a curse on St. Hermelin. I don't think now is the time for that, though it's admirable in its own way. Okay, what? so now we know there's a curse. Basically, we have to collect a whole bunch of information to even start the thing. Uh, so now we go to the third floor. And I believe, yeah, we have to go talk to Devil Boy. There he is, the nasty thing himself. Was I Devil Boy? I believe uh, so. Oh, it's you, Reggie. Uh, there he is. You know of the Snow Queen, right? Yes, the fairy tale. It's the traditional play performed by St. Hermelin's Drama Club. <laughs> Don't be so hasty. Listen to this. For some reason, the Snow Queen is usually performed while wearing a mask. Which brings me to my point. In truth, that mask is cursed. The students who wore it while playing the role all died unnatural deaths. Isn't that interesting? Supposedly, only one girl who played the part ever survived the curse. No one knows who it is. If we could figure that out, it might unlock the mystery. <laughs> okay, weirdo. So that's... Eat this man out of Hot Topic. Oh, you know he's in there. You know he's in the back of Spencer's gift, too. So now we have to go to the... To the Gaim. What? To the Gaim. No, what? you... What's... What's in Spencer's gift? You know what's in the back of Spencer's gifts. All oh, right. It's not talking put with sex toys. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, here's the drama club. If there are any records left, you might be able to find something in them. But our president gets all upset if anyone asks about it. I think that's the information we needed. I don't know any play called the Snow Queen. Our president's the only one who knows about that play. What play? It's a secret. Okay. I think that's what we needed. Now we go to the gym. And talk to bro. This fuss will die down by the time the festival starts, right? It'd suck if the school festival was cancelled in all this chaos. 
Don't know how that relates, but it says to talk to him, so I talked to him. Now we go back to the third floor. Why is there so much just to get the route started? Because I don't think it's the canon route. Well... Probably Reggie isn't here for it, but I think it may... Actually, no, Reggie's the one who initiates it. I don't think this happens if he doesn't do it. Mm. Hello, student council president. The records, I've already gone through and sorted them. It was no small task, you know. What? You want me to show them to you? Absolutely not. You have no idea what a pain it was to sort all those. If you want to know about the past, go ask someone who was there. Okay. Go talk to this person. Now go talk to this person. Actually, go talk to this person. Actually, suck my nuts. Hmm. And now we go to the principal's office, which for some reason is right next to the exit. Usually it would be like really in, so I don't know why it's here. No, my elementary school. Actually, most of my. Actually, every school I've gone to had the uh, front off, had the principal's office be connected to the front office. So it was like right next to the exit. Huh. Strange. Uh, you be her. <clears throat> I've heard you're looking into the Snow Queen. I'll tell you the whole story. So, basically, it was an orgy. Hmm? So the actress portraying the Snow Queen traditionally wore a mask. There was some always something unpleasant about the mask. Sooner or later, a rumor started uh, started that Snow Queen's mask was cursed. Didn't believe it until that day eight years ago. Last one to play the Snow Queen was Miss Psycho. Psycho? Which is our teacher? Hmm. Ma'am, what are you saying? Eight years ago, Miss Psycho lost her best friend. If only I realized it sooner. I'd have forbidden the use of the mask. None of it would have. If I had forget, forbidden the use of the mask, none of it would have happened. The mask was immediately purified and put into storage. Listen to me. You mustn't bring up Masako's painful past. Hey, the, the principal is just joking, okay? Don't believe that junk. And you know Why what we have to do? Did have a music signature on his cheek? Music signature? Ready? you talking about a bass clef? Yeah. I don't know how you saw that. My, my, dude. Okay, IRL, we both, we were both chorus kids. We recognize music signatures. Do not bring up those days. They are forbidden. Uh, so I you know, shall bring up those days you left me hanging at our performance. You know what we I have to do now, up right? I and down like a, like a forsaken fishing line. We were specifically told uh, the mask was in storage and purified, right? Yes. So you know what we're going to do? Get we're going to get the mask. Because of course we will. What is Reggie's... We'll use the mask to make a persona. No. That's Persona 5. Be funny. That's Persona 5. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Reggie's motivations are for doing this, but we're doing it. Reggie's flesh is gonna make Reggie mask. Open, Open it. it. Oh, that mask is cursed as fuck. <laughs> Indeed. Obtained the Snow Queen mask. Put it on, put it on, put it on, put it on. No, no, no. We don't put it on. Oh, Reggie, you're still here? I'm closing off the gym. You should head to the main building. I haven't heard any, any demons getting in yet, but who knows when they will. Hey, where'd you get that mask? Ah, it can't be the same one. Anyway, you should get out of here. 
And now oh, once we tech. leave... But it is... It is the same mask. When we leave, all shit goes to hell. Hey, Masao, wait! You were her. I don't even know if that's the real Maki! Uh, bye, Mark. Bye, Maki. Oh my god, Reggie! Masao's in big trouble! Kay was hurt, so Masao, Hidehiko, and Eriko brought him back here. But then... Maki showed up out of nowhere. Isn't she supposed to be at the hospital? Something serious is wrong here. Hello. Uh... She talked like once. I... who... I'll just do it. I... Ash. <sighs> Maybe. I heard Masao <laughs> came back. Yeah, but... So he and Maki went outside together. I have to bring them back. Wait, Miss Psycho. If something happens to you, what'll the gang here do? Let us go instead. Oh, good point, Yukino. Thanks. Hmm? What's that you have there, Reggie? That... that mask. Goodness. I didn't think it was still lying around here. It reminds me of my high school days. I wore this mask when I was in a play called The Snow Queen. Once upon a time, there was an evil demon. And one day, this demon made a mirror. The mirror blurred out the beautiful things of the world and made the ugly things clear. The demon climbed to heaven, intending to do mischief to God with the mirror, but the mirror broke on the way up. The countless splinters it broke into rained down upon the earth. And that is how it all began. There lived a boy named Kay and a girl named Gerda, and the two were close friends. But one day, tiny splinters of the mirror got into Kay's eyes and heart. The splinters caused Kay's heart to grow cold and her eyes to see only ugly things. That... I meant... I meant his. I can read. He even began to tease Gerda, whom he cared so much for. On a snowy winter day, a big white sleigh appeared in front of Kay, who was playing with the sled in the market square. And the beautiful woman on that white sleigh took him away. Wait a damn second, this is Narnia. Little did he know that the woman was the Snow Queen. That was how Kay came to the Snow Queen's ice castle far to the north. Gerda learned of Kay's disappearance, and despite her sorrow, she decided to embark on a journey to find him. Along the way, she overcame many hardships and obstacles with the warm help of the people she met. At last, Gerda's love for Kay and her unwavering courage led her to the ice castle. What Gerda saw at the end of her journey was the half-frozen Kay, who had forgotten her completely. Gerda's warm tears gently covered him, melting his heart. Upon regaining himself, Kay burst into tears, washing away the splinter of the mirror in his eye. Hand in hand, the two left Ice Castle, and lived at home happily ever after. I see you look a mask. Yes, but some say it's cursed. I guess I can see why. It's because of this that my friend was... Come on, Miss Sacco. Cut it out. You've got enough to be scared of. Ask me the creeps. Why don't you just toss it? Oh, sorry about that. It's just a silly school legend. Whoever wears it dies? <laughs> I wore it and I'm okay, aren't I? See? So it's better if I went looking for those two. I've got Lady Luck on my side. <gasps> Miss Psycho, what's wrong? Oh no. Pulsating. It's pulsating. Like my throbbing. Yeah? I'm sorry, I really should That was should very stop. graphic, sir. I, I'm very sorry. Cutscene. Uh-oh. Also, cool thing about this route, I may have mentioned it at the start of the whole series. Um, there was the whole PS1 Western localized version. It cut this entirely. It just didn't have the Snow Queen at all. 
So they re-added it in the PSP version. Oh boy. What? How? How? Where am I? Hey, this is the courtyard. What the hell's going on here? Fucking cold. Whoa, look. I'm a psycho. Cold. Reggie, flesh, 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 oh. flesh. Oh, damn. Get ice pillared. Oh! What the? Boofa. Yeah, Boofu. Um, you Boofa. go ahead. <laughs> ah, finally. I've been waiting so long. Miss Psycho? Psycho? Oh. Oh, I see what's happening. Poor Psycho. <laughs> huh? But you are Psycho. <laughs> You're literally Psycho. Are you okay? Did you trip and hit your head or something? I wore it and I'm okay. Huh? <laughs> That's the psycho I remember so well. Self-confident, self-centered. She'd step on anyone to be the center of attention. What's wrong with you? Stop with the jokes, because they aren't funny. Jokes? Look around you. <laughs> you think this is a joke? Beautiful, isn't it? A peaceful, perfectly still landscape. You're all dressed in you're you you'll all be dressed in ice and stay beautiful forever. So come over. What are you saying? You're a teacher, this is just Oh, what a lovely girl. Come closer and Give you ageless beauty. Don't do it, Yuka. It's the mask. It must have taken her over. Okay, monster. You lay one finger on Miss Psycho and your ass is grass. Take her over? That's not very nice. Tell me, who was it who undid the seal on the mask? Uh, 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 f f flesh, uh. Who put it on without thinking twice? Okay, well that's on you. Not to mention, isn't it rude to go around calling people monsters? I think I prefer... the Snow Queen. Very fitting for this mask, isn't it? <laughs> Can it? What do you want with Miss Psycho? What a reckless young lady. Your teacher is going to be mm, a sacrifice. A sacrifice? Yes, that's right. Psycho is so full of hope. If I offer her a sacrifice, the stillness of despair, the eternal night is sure to descend. The eternal night? We are no longer inside that beautiful girl's dreamscape. Yeah. Huh? That sounds like we, we were in a dream. Now we're about to be in a nightmare. What, what does that mean? What are you on about? Why is it so cold? It's not going to happen. I'm taking back Miss Psycho right now. Do I dare state what I'm thinking? Go on. The way she's talking about her, people ship them. I see it. I see it. I see the comments. Mm. I have an eye for this thing. Not me personally, but I know people do. Oh, not you brave. Fine, you can have her. But Zack, 
But Psycho will stay frozen as long as she has the mask on. And so will the school. And don't think you can leave. You'll see what I mean if you walk around a little. There's no escape. You only have two choices. Welcome the eternal of night or take the mask off Psycho. And believe me, the second option is going to be much, much harder. Mm. Okay, but like, how? Keep fighting it. Nothing's more beautiful than this this, than despair after a struggle. It sounds a lot like Monokuma. I can hear it. I can't wait to pass the beautiful despair. Hey, I asked a question. Ah! Oh! Oh, there she goes. Statue. The psycho! Watch it, or the psycho and the mask will both shatter to smithereens. I have a few rituals to perform, so there's still time before the eternal night. Why don't we pass the time with a game? A game? Who's now Castle of Ice? There are three towers, each with a guard here. You can defeat the guard and then before the clock. And each tower strikes twelve. I'll turn Psycho and School back to normal. Uh, three it's not. Three dungeons. Well, you'll get to replace the guardians in this. I must leave this mask now and prepare, to, and prepare to call the eternal night. I hope you enjoy yourselves while I'm gone. See you later. Wait, 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 don't leave. Oh my god, where, where do we do? All your fault, Reggie. Well, shit. Never found that stupid mask. This wouldn't have happened. Better own up. Are you a man or not? Say something. Stop it, Yuka. Pointing fingers won't help the situation any. It's not like Reggie knew what was going to happen. Well, maybe. Like, you and Nicole. Hmm? Eh? What was that? Flashing lights. Fill them on these nuts. That thing again. Again? Oh, right, because Yukino came with us to the hospital, but Yuka didn't go there, so you know, that's, yeah. Hello, sir. A moment, please. You are angry and frustrated, but that will not rescue your teacher. There is only one way to do that. The Demon Mirror. It can remove the source of the mask's curse. However, the Snow Queen has shattered it. The twelve shards are scattered amongst three towers. Take this mirror frame with you. Fit the mirror shards you find into it. If you gather enough shards to reflect your teacher, she can be saved. There isn't much time left. I pray for your success. Yes, indeedy. The mirror frame. So our job's to find the mirror shards and put them in this frame, huh? Um, Minako? Do you know the... Do you know the... You know the towers are guarded by demons, right? Aren't we uh, a little, you know, short-handed? You can stay here if you want. We won't force you to come. Not when we don't know what we're up against. No, I mean, it, it's just... I'll do whatever it takes to save Miss Psycho. I used to be a lousy delinquent. Even my parents gave up on me, but not her. 
she never gave up on me, ever. Now it's my turn to help her, and my expertise can be put to a good cause. Hey, Unico. You're not gonna leave me here, right? Don't go with you. You're much safer around you and Reggie. <laughs> I sure. see Reggie almost rip a man in half. It was, it was quite brutal. Flush. Whatever floats your boat. If we get stuck in a bad situation, I'm sure you'll help lighten the mood. Damn, she regulated her to comic relief. Hey, uh, holy crap, Yuka, where'd you get a gun? Oh no, she, oh no, she's this, she's this uh, runs Mark. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't even plan that. And you voice her too. Hmm. Oh, and you have the yellow, the other girls is, uh, one's, this Nanjo. runs Nanjo. Yeah. I guess the Maki would technically be Miss Psycho? Yeah. Okay. Well, we still have two party members to me. Get. Him and Masao went to the police station for some weapons. That also opens up a, a thought. The, the, the other route is still happening. It's just Nanjo and Mark, though, and Maki. Could they still prevail? I don't think so. Oh, right. That got hurt, so they came back to school. No, the other route's not happening. They're both back here. He handed me some guns and said to hold on to them while he went to the nurse. So I kept one for myself. <laughs> I always wanted to try shooting one of these things. That's I'm a, gonna pop a bitch. That's not a scary sentence to hear. <sighs> ah, the wind's picking up. It's so fucking cold. My ears hurt. My ears hurt. Cover them up with them big ass pigtails. Hmm? Come on, let's go inside quick. Yeah. Standing here won't do anyone any good. You think the three of us can handle the demons and get those mirror shards? I don't know, maybe we should grab a couple more people, like Yuka said. Yes, indeedy, that's what we must do now. Miss Psycho, we'll be back for you. Alright, so now we're... we're in it. And yeah, as you saw, Philemon gave us the mirror. We need to get all the 12 shards. Well, actually... It sounds like we're passing gas. Says here, we're, more than... Means? Ew. More than eight will be the good ending, less than eight will be the bad ending, and then all 12 will get special equipment. Mm. Let's try and get all 12. It's four to a... It should be four to a tower. You thought for one second I wasn't going to get all of them? You know me. Oh, the school's become a labyrinth. Um, yes. So first off, we want to find the library? Oh, hey. Casino, casino, no. casino. Sir. I did a lot of experimenting before I, I reached my 31 levels. This casino sucks ass. Look at this. Look at what they have. This is not the same casino. No weapons. It's all just the, the items that use spells and then fusion items. No weapons. This place sucks. All right, here we go. Who is Ellie? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. I'm talking for one. You're talking for one. I'm going to talk for Brown, so I guess you can get Ellie. All right. 
How goes it, uh, demon boy? Discover anything? <laughs> of course, Eriko. This temperature is not due to a cold front. I'm 90% sure. Uh. I'm sorry, but I came up empty. None of the books mention this kind of thing at all. Not so. I keep on my own search. I'm very intrigued by this door. The grinding is n Greek for Nemesis Tower. Nemesis? Greek, you say? Interesting. Nemesis is the Greek goddess of retribution. Hey, Sutomu knows tons about the occult and demons and stuff. Wouldn't he be pretty useful? Someone like him would be a big plus, I think. What? I don't sound mean, but, uh... He stank. Like, bad. That's your idea of not being mean? Who cares whether he's your type? Though I gotta admit, he looks more than a little flaky. Called him crusty, damn! How about Eriko? She might be able to translate if we need if we meet foreign demons. You know, she does seem to know about that stuff. Yeah, that could work. Excuse me, but uh we all talking about us just now. I didn't mean to English drop, but I believe I heard my name come up. Oh, we were just saying you probably know a lot about demons. Here's what's going on. Exposition, exposition, we gotta save her. So that's how the school became fucking frosty. Interesting. I love stories of monsters and ghosts, but this... This has me a little bit turned on. I'm not gonna hey, lie. Yo, brother. I, I I never thought I'd be. I never thought I'd witness several supernatural events just one after another. I will say something, sir. You don't know about this yet. Persona Four. There is a girl exactly like this. Oh. People people know who I'm talking about. Something must be done before it's too late. Let them join. You're sure you want Eriko to help? Indeed. All right. Search for the mirror shots and save Miss Psycho. Indeed. All right, so we got our four. Now we just need the last one. I, I, are we not going to let my boyfriend come along? You know... Damn well you don't like Devil Boy. Ew. I just got that, uh, Freak Boy charm. Ugh. Alright, we're looking for the cafeteria. Also, here's all the, the dungeons. They're all right here. Hmm. Oh, right. Hey, Toro. I'm sorry for hiding the food from you. Just please don't eat anymore. You're going to waste it all. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I thought if you found it, you'd gobble it all up. The whole school's in trouble. We might have to ration food. You gotta understand. Shut up. Why does everyone make fun of me? No, hang on. I can do better. This is this is Ned from Spider-Man. Again, what does he sound like? We're all gonna die! Shut up! Why does everyone make fun of me? I know you were sharing the food without telling me. That's it, this food's mine. Kenta Yoko Uchi. Nicknamed Toro. Hmm. No! Our precious, precious food! One guy goes crazy from rejection and we all starve to death now? How can my charmed life end this way? Croaking alongside of Fatso. Damn! You, you said the F word! Don't call me fat! Damn you all! 
I'm gonna eat and eat and eat before I die. I'll stuff myself. Then I'll watch the rest of you collapse one by one. <laughs> hey, Brown. Completely lost it. What do we do? Don't ask me. Man, Yuka, this is all your fault for rejecting him. Excuse me? That's it. What's with blaming me for all for this all of a sudden? Only one thing to do. Knock the poor bastard out cold. <laughs> no way. Not gonna happen. Wanna know why? Cause the butterfly gave me a demon. I'm not just a butterball anymore, Yuka. <laughs> uh, a Sorry. demon. And we're back. A demon. Oh, sounds like his mind snapped along with his heart. What, does he mean a persona? I'll grab a t-shirt. Keep an eye on him. I'll be right back. Hey, boss. I don't think he'll come to his senses without a swift kick in the butt. How are you calling boss? You're such a clown. Sure, I'll try that if nothing else works. For now, let's buy us some time until the teacher gets here. Hey, Hidehiko, you listening? Quit standing around and give us a hand. <laughs> I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Okay. <laughs> no one can stop me now. He looks like Kim Jong-un. Oh. Doro, why are you doing this? Stop it. Get some help. You're literally so damn bad. You turned into a bad guy. Oh, my darling Yuka. We'll save you, and only you, if you promise to go out with me. I'll even save you some food. Oh, <laughs> Uh, no. Just, just no. Uh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I'm... I'm... Uh! Don't get him mad. You're too blunt, Yuka. I bet you were just as cold as him when he said he loved you. Not really. I, I just told him the truth. What I said it was like... Flashback? Oh boy. What's the super important thing you had to tell me? I'm busy. Y Yuka. Um, um, I'm, um, I'm sorry for, um, asking you to meet me here. Eek already. Not saying anything. I'm out. Wait, there is something. I'll tell you right now. Are you ready? I'm on. Yuka, I, 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 I. What? I love you. I, I love you so much. P -p 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 Please go out with me. I promise I'll make you hippie. I mean happy. <laughs> Brother, I don't think. There's a singular entity in any universe that would accept that confession. Damn, was that horrible. Oh. Now, have you even seen yourself just now? Oh. I'm, I'm out. See you later, Shamu. Damn! Free Willy, free Willy looking head ass. Please, why not? What's so bad about me? The fact is, well, you wear the same clothes every day, laugh at everything. I've never seen you do anything but eat, sleep, and read manga. Damn! Like, I don't get what keeps you going. Everything about you sucks. ISA Genuinely, is... just... No! ISA is fucking based! How can you be so mean? Well, what are you like, Yuka? 
You laugh when you aren't happy. You hang out with people you think are stupid. Are you scared to be alone? Oh. Shut up. Acting like you got it all figured out, Butterball. Damn. Butterball. Oh. Damn. Oh, man. What have you done? Quick, apologize. It's not too late. Say you're sorry. I did? Really? Was it really hurt that bad, Toro? <laughs> my darling Yuka, how could you? You'll pay for stomping all over my pure innocent heart. Mr. Demon. Oh, Mr. Demon, come out. Come out and punish the people who keep making fun of me. Bimble, Bumble, Bam Bob Bun. Whoa, 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 what's the chanting about? This isn't some manga. Uh, uh, it's coming out. Ew, dude. <laughs> Ew. Oh, 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 uh. Hey, it's a penis. It's a penis. Yep. Whoa. What's with him? <laughs> I am sorry. It's too late to apologize. <sighs> it's much, 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 much too late. Eat this. Agi. Oh, he's literally saying Agi. Hm. Damn it. How dare you? It, it missed. It it they missed. both missed. Yukino. Here goes. Agi. Agi. I say his persona, Hori. Retrank who? Oh, she has a whip. Oh, yeah. What? It's, what? What now? Oh, yeah, she didn't awaken yet. And so has Brown. It's dead. Brown's persona, Nemhine, reached rank two. That was fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this thing? I didn't give him permission to come out of me like that. And we each get a free level. So we actually don't start at level 31. We start at level 32. Um, look at the dexterity. Damn. Yep. And we, I did all that grinding. Yeah, yep. Gonna, are we gonna put it in all agility? Probably. Thanks to uh, me being, or Reggie being level 31, everyone who joined us joined at the same level. So we're all <laughs> level 32. <laughs> Beautiful. Are we just over leveled for this now? No, now we're properly leveled. What? Oh. Something just came out of me to say hi. What in the world was that? Now, why do you have a penis monster in his stomach? You just hear a uh in the, in the song? Hey, don't seem to be hostile. At least not for now. Looks like our little squad's getting bigger. Uh, squad? Hmm? Huh? Me and Ridger, like, you know, and stuff? Huh? Yeah, after we had those weird dreams, we can summon personas, was it? For some reason, only those who dreamed of the butterfly acquired the power. Us seems related to the demon invasion somehow. I wait. Thor was Thor was using a persona, right? Did he have the dream too? I don't think you can classify that as a persona. Yes, that's the most likely explanation. Oh my god! I believe it. No, no, it can't be. I think it's gonna come out of my tummy when I go and I'll go berserk. Yuka, if you had a penis monster, I think uh, it would have some weird implications there. I don't, I don't think so. I use it like a knife, for example. 
It's vulnerable. It can be a valuable tool or a weapon on the battlefield. What it does is determine the right user. All right, I should be fine then. Oh, duh! I know exactly what that butterfly wants me to do. It made me a hero so I could save the school and the city. <laughs> All right, if you guys really need me that much, I guess I can pitch in. Follow my lead. Well, if he wants to come, fine with us. Right, Reggie? Yes. Sure. Reggie, you really actually want him to come along? Yes. Say what? Come on, guys. I know you all want me tagging along. No need to hide it. He's giving a piece to the camera. What are you doing? Quit moping around. We're leaving. Yes, boss. Okay. And now... We finally have... Our full team. Nice. We got a bunch of miscreants. Which would you say... Which team do you say you would like more? Previous one or this one? I think so oh. far it's the previous one. I... We haven't spent any time with these guys yet. Yeah, but we kind of get the gist of their personalities. I think this whole group gets down a peg just from Yuka. Mmm. Mm. I uh, say give it a bit. Give it a bit, you think? We'll, we'll see. Uh, door is frozen. I am now looking. That's the item shop. Don't know how you got in here. This is the gem shop. I forgot that was a thing. This is just a room. Weapon store. Hey, look! Frog! We can actually see him now. Pretty Armor. sure it's a her. Does it really can matter? Can we buy any weapons as of current? Yes, that's exactly what we're gonna do. First thing, next time. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, try, I'm trying to find the, the save point. I, I don't know where it is. This place is a damn maze. Is it this? No. That's a dead end. Where is the save point? There we are. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah. We'll end it there. Intro to Snow Queen took a damn while, but now we're in it. So it should, uh, should blast through. We got three dungeons, 12 mirror shards to go. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's get to it. Also, while this is happening, I'm pretty sure Condori's just doing his thing. And, uh, the whole outside world is going to be destroyed. So, really? Lovely to, to see that happen at the end, because there's no one else to go stop him. Apparently, Nanjo and Mark got hurt, so they're here too. And I don't think Reg Reiji would help. So, yeah. Best not to think about Yo, it, is, though. Is the whole thing with Maki still happening? I would assume so. But now it's oh, just Maki. We've just gone on a side quest. Well, yeah, but I don't. I don't think she can do it by herself. So uh, let's not think about it. We're in, we're in a different route. We already did that. Let's let's just say the the web of fate. You know, that storyline concludes anyway, even without our our help. Somehow, even what if it does make sense. What was the point sense. of us helping? for us to experience it. <laughs> yes, I'm player one. I'm player two. And we'll see you next time when we get into the thick of the Snow Queen quest. Bye-bye.